Jimmy! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? It's a two pointer, and Butler now has 45. We talked about. Oh my god! Duh! 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 Oh! Is my voice gone? Is my voice gone yet? <laughs> I feel like this shit Loki's about to be gone. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go! Come on! Giannis Haslam just coming over. He is so fired up, Mark. He wants a message to be relayed. He said, tell Draymond Green, thank you. Draymond Green said, we're gonna play the Boston Celtics. Giannis Haslam walk over and says, thank you for the inspiration. Yo, what's up, guys? Shout out to you today. We're talking about Miami Heat. Forcing a game seven, backs against the wall, season on the line, everybody counting out the heat, including announcers, analysts, Draymond Green. He said, yeah, we're gonna face Boston. Well, today, heat win, game seven in Miami. We'll see who the Warriors will face in game one of the NBA Finals on, I believe, June 2nd. It's gonna be amazing to see. Man, can I just sit down again? And just talk about Jimmy Butler just being that guy. I literally saw today somebody say Jimmy Butler can't be number one guy on a team that can lead his way to the championship. What he's do today? He drops 47 points on threes, on free throws, getting to the rim, being aggressive, being great on defense, getting four steals today, and a block with 47 points. You're gonna have to give this man his respect not give it he demands it he goes 16 was one out from the field four for eight from three and 11 for 11 from the free throw line that man was him and he was the best player on the court today by far game six like i said backs against the wall everybody already saying yeah it's gonna be warriors versus boston in the finals we'll find out in two days we'll find out in two days but i'll see what we'll find out on sunday the final on Sunday, who Golden State will face, like it's June 2nd, game one of the NBA Finals. I found out everybody, they had a huge motivation. Everybody was like, yeah, Boston against Golden State. Let me go ahead, let me start talking about Boston versus Golden State, NBA Finals, Curry against JT. Hold on. We'll find out Sunday who they face. And Miami, by the way, Miami Heat, we know. We barely lose at home. It is against Boston. Our best opponent by far of the playoffs. We'll see, though. We finally win a game of everybody fully healthy. Not fully healthy, but everybody playing for Boston. You got Rob Wood playing. You got Alhofer playing. You got Mark Smart playing. All the guys all played today. This is our first time winning this series with all of them playing the same level. Shout out to Miami. We won today. And Jimmy Butler had to do his thing. Last three games, Jimmy Butler looked like absolute shit. I shouldn't go into shit. He averaged nine points the last game. I honestly thought his knee was cooked and it was wrapped for us. Potentially. But today, 47 points. Nine rebounds, eight assists, four steals, one block. And he hurt his knee at the end of the game and hit an insanely clutch shot. Jimmy Butler hit some multiple clutch shots. We needed buckets from him, whether that was the three, was that against the line, whether that's hitting tough mid range shots. The man came out today and he answered the call. He answered everything, bro. He was just here and he just flourished. The man just flourished today. Look at this. 2.2 two on the clock. Four point game. 46 seconds remain in the game. What does Jimmy Butler do? Oh, Marcus Smart, by the way. DPY Marcus Smart and Derek Way. Today, he had to have his best game by far in Boston. Man, yeah, I'll talk about him in a little bit, though. On his face. Bang! Playout Jimmy Butler is on a whole nother level than regular season Jimmy. Regular season Jimmy Butler, he was getting slandered a ton of three by myself because he was not even looking like he was even putting his best out on the court. It looked like he's trolling, like a one leg, three points. He didn't look like he's looking right now. Right now, he looks like a whole different player. Whereas you watch him in the bubble, go turn to with LeBron and the Lakers. That was fun to watch. Okay. That's me. I'm talking about Jimmy Butler. All right, next. PJ Tucker, Heat legend PJ Tucker had some huge, and I mean huge, rebounds today. Today, 11 points, five rebounds, one assist, two steals, and got an insane clutch steal at the end of the game. Kind of like rips the ball away from Tatum. 
and we get a side of the court signal free throws and he went in bam at a bio again all this with our second option quote unquote putting up six points today bam you shot the ball six times today and you had a plethora amount of opportunities to go ahead and do something what did you do today six points nine rebounds two steals come on bam come on my guy come on man Matt Schultz today has definitely a way better game than he had in last two games. Last two games, he went like 0 for 15 from the field, over 50, 0 for like 12 from three. Today, he actually bounced back some clutch shots. Ended up today with 13 points. He also had two assists and two rebounds while shooting three free from the three point line and five for 12 from the field. Overall, he had some really clutch shots, showing off his range, doing his best on defense. Not a good game. So, shout out to my boy, Maximum Schultz. Lowry today had a bounce back. In last game, he had zero, zero, and like one rebound at max. He had zero points last game in college finals. Today, he drops 18 points, including multiple clutch shots. Draws some foul. Did get fouled at the end of the game, but they put in depot. Then they put in, if it's it, at the end of the game, tail end of the game. So yeah, shout out my boy, Kyle Lowry. Drops 18 today, 10 assists, gets a steal, gets a block, and shoots four for nine from three. Like I said, draws some, shoots some fouls. Was hitting a three-point shot, just played making the ball very, very well, and just played like we expect him to play. He gets paid thirty million dollars to do this. What did he do today? He did this. Caleb Martin had a really good first time. I think we really did not see him. I don't know why for the rest of the game. Ended up dropping five points, three rebounds, and being one of his threes. And yeah. The adventure today didn't really do too much. I mean, Jimmy Butler really put his team on his back, so he really didn't need to do too much. But today, he drops two points on a fifth of the tail end of the game. Doug Robinson comes in the game today for five minutes. Two to three. He's out of the game for the rest of the game. Victor Oladipo today drops nine points, drops five rebounds, one steal. But this thing comes in, in the game for Kyle Lowry, who fouls out. Also, forgot to mention, the Miami Heat today, we shot 40. 2.9% from three, which is insane, including also 46% from the field. We went out today, we hit our shots, and we went out and won because of this. This thing defensively, plus free throws, drew a good foul at the, probably like the start of the fourth quarter, gave us some good momentum. This thing, man, shut up my boy Victor Oladipo. Now, on to the Boston, the guy I'm going to talk about first is Derek White. Derek White had his best game, like I said today, by far for the Boston Celtics. He had 22 points, five assists, three steals, and one block. It feels like every single time we bring the ball up, Derek White was right behind us, getting a steal. The man is a pest. We were talking about a lot of DeLon Wright when we faced against the Hawks in the first round. Imagine that times two. Derek White is times two because he actually gets started minutes. And he actually today was hitting his threes. Derek White today, four for seven from three. When is Derek White ever going to shoot 57 per set from three on seven attempts? Shout out to him, but his weakness of his whole entire game is shooting threes. And what did he do today? He excelled at shooting threes today. He dropped 22 points on seven for four T from the field and four threes. Man went out. He dominated us on both sides of the basket that man went out today and he absolutely was a menace he was a freak he was insane came today dropped 30 points dropped nine rebounds four assists two steals one block you know a very costly turnover at the end of the game where tucker really really grabbed the ball out of his hand and after that it was cooked for him he does only shoot 12 shots today i don't know why he only shot 12 shots didn't make all eight of his free throws though was doing this thing defensively. I hope it's today only hit one shot, but it was literally one of the most clutch shots of the game. Would hit a three, type the game like 95 points. Other than that, though, he went one for eight with nine rebounds, five assists. They didn't really get it going today, thankfully for us, because we know he's been killing us this series, especially from three, especially in terms of rebounding. Rob Williams today ends up with 12 points, two blocks, and only one rebound. That's actually really rare that for Rob Will. Rob Will has been, been dominating us on both uh, sides of the bat, so especially defense. Like blocking today, Rob Will got two blocks. Rob Will, like every game he gets to the series, he got a minimum two blocks, even though he has meniscus 
he had the meniscus injury and had meniscus, the, he had that meniscus tear and had that like kind of like a mini surgery that wasn't obviously the full surgery that would have been out for, for the remainder of the season rob will miss him this thing defensively and of course like i always say as soon as bam sees rob on the court he just doesn't want to be aggressive i mean i don't think it's rob will bam is just really unaggressive against any centers that really just freaks defensively like rob will so yeah Jalen Brown today, super 6 per 13 with 20 points, 5 assists, 6 rebounds, and 3 steals. Honestly, it felt like he had a really good game. Mark Smart today didn't really have good games at all. Just looking at it right now, he shot 4 for 15 with 14 points, and 1 for 9 from 3 with 4 rebounds, 3 assists, and 1 steal. Mark Smart, most of his game really comes from, obviously, defense, and he was doing his job today on defense. His Jimmy Butler was um, making his tough shots on him and Derek White in particular, and yeah. Right Williams today... I felt like he fell down, but he only had five fouls. He didn't really do anything today, though. He had two points, which is from the field, and only hit points off of two free throws. So, yeah. Pritchard today only got three minutes of action. Didn't really need to get it going. Didn't really get action at all. He got six minutes last game, all in the first half. Today, only got three minutes. Obviously, when you see Derek White playing this well, you're not going to put Derek White on the bench of Payton Pritchard, respectfully, especially how good and dominant White has been defensively. I don't blame you, Doki, at all for putting Derek White in for 32 minutes today. And yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Butler, fucking love you, man. 47 points. We needed you. Bass against the wall. Everybody counting us out, including players, announcers, analysts. Everybody wants us to lose. Everybody waiting on a downfall. Everybody counting on Golden State versus Boston. I mean, finally, like I said, we'll find out Sunday who Golden State will face in two seconds. But we'll see. Miami Heat are going back now to Miami in game seven, hopefully to win the series in game seven and face Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. But hopefully. We close that out. Big, just great end to my Friday. Jimmy Butler dropped 47 points. He win 14 game 7 on Sunday. And I cannot be happier right now. I just, also, by the way, if you have no Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero also would have helped us a lot. It would definitely took some pressure off of Jimmy Butler. Yeah, we have to rely more on Kyle. Like, we relied so much today on Kyle. We relied so much today on Max Cruz. Man with a bio. He really is doing this thing today, just setting screens. Got called for a couple of legal screens, but they you all know, could really play good defense as always. And. I really want to see him being more aggressive. The fact that Jimmy Butler today dropped 47 points and his next guy was Kyle Lowry today with 18 points. Actually good, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, definitely expect Tyler Hero to hope play game seven in Miami. If not, then uh, yeah, that'll be very, very tough. But yeah, shout out to Miami. We went, we, had, we went ahead and won this game in game seven. Shout out to Boston as well. I'm just going to give credit to Boston. Boston is the best defense in basketball. In front of us, I'm not going to be biased. They have a better defense. Boston is the best defense in basketball. They have really good size and they're equally tough on us. And Jimmy Butler just today, was in the zone. I don't know how he just turned into the last couple of games playing like absolute shit to now playing like the second coming of Jesus Christ. But the man just did it. The man is him. And I'm so happy that he's on my best with him. Okay. Other than that, yo, that is the video. Go down below, drop a like, comment down below, subscribe to my Twitch, Twitter. Until next time, boy, John. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out, man. Peace.